such a tricky one because I do feel as a white South African, no matter what my political um, beliefs, I need to be very careful to, you know, throw any stones because I certainly lived in a glass house for, um, <laughs> for a while. So, I mean, it's been interesting to me to, to you know, obviously there's a lot of um, hypocrisy involved and um, uh, a lot of um, kind of blame game that's that's played. Um, but I think to me it's a more interesting thing in America of imagining America likes to think of itself as being a classless society. And I think, um, you know, race and class really, you know, intersect in America. And um, so I think it's less about race that I think the problem is, but more about an elite um, class in America who've been, um, whose needs have been privileged for too long. And, um, and that has sort of led the country into, you know, difficult, um, difficult times. But um, I did notice at, um, as an undergraduate, I was a member of the African Students Association. And uh, there was a very strange relationship between the African American Student um, Associations and the African Students Associations. And this strange kind of, um, I think each was threatened by the other. Um, I think the African Americans were threatened by this um, questioning of their own authenticity by the African Students Association and, uh, you know, sort of vice versa. Um, so that was just an interesting sort of dynamic that I, that I saw played out. For